New lights, I gotta fuck with them a little bit. This, ah, no, I probably shouldn't mess with that. Here, I could... No. Mood lighting. Okay, I'm done with that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the chaos. My name is Vlad the Tech, and today we're gonna to be playing some more Valhalla. I'm going to just hold this up so that my computer can recalibrate shit. New lights, hopefully you guys like them, whatever. Anyways, we when last we left off, we talked to some very strange individuals, and some corgis got a little crafty. And also, there was a creepy woman on this TV. Oh, why is the TV off? Why would you turn my TV off? I that's creepy. Stop it. $59 for... That. Oh my god. Inflation. There we go. My favorite channel. Anyways, back to the story. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Okay, yeah, that's where we left off. I'm just gonna keep everything the same. Okay, then back to the action. Good evening. <clears throat> Good e Hello, Mr. Skynet. Uh, would you mind taking the helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Hot damn! You free drinks! Drinks on the house! Is this better? That is... Yeah. Mmm. So better. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist, Psy-P, S. Esagiri, if of the seven, 765th Division, Valkyrie Corp, at your service. Wait, well, that, that's too long. Mm, you just call me Say. Hey, Say, you look lonely. You want to come back to my place? Uh, let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet, as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice, too. Uh, but not cool, as in great. I I think I know what you mean. You can stop you can stop explaining yourself. More more so since I have to get up early tomorrow, I can't afford a hangover. Uh sorry, did you get that? Sweet drink, preferably cold one. That's not too big. Gotcha. Yeah, that's it. Can do. Give me one second. Just gonna hide behind this screen. It's fucking weirdo, but I'm totally gonna tap that. By type. Uh, search by type. Search. Uh, by flavor. Flavor. Flavor is what I want. Sweet. Sugar rush. Optional. 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 Okay. Yeah, there we go. Let me just, uh, pour this shit into a cup. Mix with no alcohol. Boom. Sugar rush. Serve that shiz. Here you go. Um, I expected something with ice, but this is good enough. Well, fuck. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. Let me just retry that. Don't mind me. Just, uh, <laughs> hacking the system. So she doesn't want to beg. She needs it with ice. And she needs to fucking pay me for it. By flavor? Sweet. Uh, aged and mixed. All mixed. Uh, on the rocks. That's ice. That's ice, right? That, that ice. Tastes like old chocolate milk. With its... Ew, bitter, girly, soft. Neither of those are what she wants. I need one with fucking... Uh, on the rocks. Perfect. That's a lot of alcohol. Never mind. Uh, fuck, where was it? Uh, fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck, uh, fuck. Not a whole lot of on the rocks drinks that are sweet and not gonna get you fucked up. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Fuck it. This is what she's getting today. Powder Delta, one of this, one of this. On the rocks. Mix. That is not right. Try that again. Oh, God damn it. Oh, blend it. I guess I have to hold it. For longer. Mm -hmm. There we go. That should be blended enough. Moon blast! Bam! Hope you like this. Here you are. Hey, she paid me, so I, it must be good. Ah, yes. This is just what I needed. Thanks. Damn right you needed that. You need more than just that, too. Oh, God, my face is turning purple. We don't get many white knights as clients. I only remember one other in the set, in fact. You said you were from the Valkyrie Corp? Right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? 
Riots? Oh, no, 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 no. You're thinking of Blitzkrieg Corp. This one's with huge plates. The ones with huge plate suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we are different people, but we don't deal with riots out of anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. Oh, so you're corpse cleanup. To rescue, heal, and protect. Corpse cleanup. Got it. We are the angels who soothe the suffering enemy attack. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we protect. Um, what's that? Sorry, it's sort of a pledge of our allegiance. We rece recite it every morning. <clears throat> What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. Like the stuff that happened in the bathroom? You want to go check that out? Protect them from that. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. Anything? Define anything. Are we using a strict definition or a looser one? Mission heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah. I know my... I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a... I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely to a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. How much does your job pay? Because uh, I'm looking for more work. That sounds badass. Yeah, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking shit. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on the earth. Oh, and there was this one time we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of the hydrant. Very few times are you going to have somebody reminisce about the time they saw a car crash. With lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost like a... It was almost dreamlike. It's not what I meant by shocking. But those sights... But those are sights, and they're shocking. Right? Never mind. Just... We're just going to breeze right past what you just said. Because I'm trying to have a good time tonight. And you're kind of a... Uh, nope. Wait, did I mishear you? Oh, did I mishear you? Did I mishear it? You actually meant size. I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrating sighs from people after everything's said and done, but don't worry, you didn't mishear. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? The sexy kind. Don't worry about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Something classy, a classy drink. Can you be more specific? She's making our job easy by just saying classic, okay? Just calm down, all right? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem, don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find. Uh, type classy. Classy. Bad touch! <laughs> Oh, that's big. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, God, that's a lot of alcohol. Oh, my God, that is nothing but alcohol. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Mercury Blast. Well, looks like she's getting a Brattini because it's got less alcohol. Boom, all aged. Mix. Boom. Brattini. And serve. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I have known the longest. So you and this Stella, are you, um, are you an item? Are you an item? She's like, she likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. You know, what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know my name. Now I want to know yours. Are you picking me up right now? Because I'm totally into that. Just call me Jill. 
Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not alright. You're fucking awkward and I like it. Julian? J Julianne? Do not call me Julianne. Please. Sorry. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um, by the way. Um, but why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. I don't dwell too much on that. Okay. I still feel bad about arguing, angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That's... That actually helps. You're the first person to say something that nice today. What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine and soap. You've got some weird kinks. I've, I've, I'm starting to have second thoughts about picking you up. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Get the fuck out. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. <clears throat> what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never good at a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. Two wrongs don't make a right. You do know that, right? I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. I am not questioning you. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everyone, everything on an individual basis. Well, not to an extremist extent, but you get me. I don't believe anyone gets you at this point. I, I think you're on your own. I try to do the same thing. Why join the Valkyrie Corp specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all felt all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue Assault... There's even a squad for full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the process. But if you are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. Tell me more. I got a story for that one guy, Mr. Donovan. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in the unofficial capacity. That'd be nice. I think. Please tell me you want some more drink. I need to pay my rent. Thank you very much. I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Let's find out. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Bradtini. No, I'm pretty sure it's martini. It's Bradtini, trust me. I'll get you one. I just gave her that. I just gave her that. I just gave her a Bradtini. I just gave her this shit. And she wants another? Yeah, there's no bar... There are no martini in there. All aged. Mix that shiz up. Boom. Serve that shiz. Here, see? Huh, you were right. No, I wasn't, but whatever. Thanks. <clears throat> you know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple of days. Uh, Sharing is caring, I guess. <laughs> really? Why? I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. It might be a bit difficult 
though. She's more into, um, classier places. Now, not that this place isn't nice, but... Don't worry, I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too hard, I just need... What's that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead, be careful. I will. You forgot to give me your number! She left her helmet. Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold on to it for her. Oh, you sneaky devil, you. I'll go check on what, what the ever-loving hell is exploding out there. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? Does does that mean that the uncle that Uncle Ingus ramblings about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it! Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. Uh, to be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife works exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Nothing like that, just relax. Are you an Oregon traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? Are you pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Are you organ trafficking robber pick rapist pickpockets? Why aren't you saying anything? Uh, I'm waiting for you to shut the hell up so I can respond. You're a rapist, aren't you? Rapist! The whole lot of you! Uh, no. Again, just... Want to tear my clothes off, beat me unconscious, and have your horrible way with me, and, the, and then brutally murder me, don't you? I'm not into that, no. Um... Oh, well, still violating every hole in my body. Are you okay? You, you need a drink. You need a... Murder, 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 Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw her at her face. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. Uh, sweet, bitter, manly, girly. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is there a calm the fuck down a teeny? Service spike. It will knock the drunkness out of your knock. It, it will knock the drunkness out of you or knock you out cold. Sour, manly, sobering. Let's try it. All blended. Cool. Boom. Wait, it says sobering. Okay, we need something that'll uh, soft, strong, bland, bland, strong. Maybe get her something strong. Moonblast is happy. Get her some moonblast. Need some ice for this. Here we go. What? What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. Uh. A bar. So I figured I should give you something that to help calm you down. Don't worry, it's on the house. To calm down, what did you spice it up with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? God no! I wouldn't even think of that. Your stirring makes you suspicious, you know. Have you ever added anything like that to your drink? They'd dock my pay tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all... They'd show themselves all proud of the hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Bleh. Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Donna Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. Fucking A, I wish I was there to see it. 
That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. By the way, I think I'm about done here. Did you check the inside outside the toilet paper's lockers? What about... Oh my god. Oh my god, how? Why? How? Why? I'm back. I tried... He tried to give me the bandages to... at first, though. Did you have to pay? No? No problem, then. Try it on the drink. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in, a co in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of the chain. So, sort of like the spicy chicken bars. Spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink. Go, th go through that door and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at, you're at peace and nothing of value will be, would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Duh, fuck are you smoking? And what about the drink? Are you going to let it let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know that I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Not sure you should drink it all so fast. So how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. You alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem! If I were you, I'd have probably reacted the same way. I'd also be not here. I should apologize for my last comment, too. It came across as insensitive. I guess I'll stay away. Stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until the car crashed outside. I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets. Stripped of clothes, dignity, and organs. Why were you unconscious? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? No reason, no reason whatsoever. Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay, then I'll take you on your offer. I'll have a piano man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just gulped the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. Piano man, piano man, piano man, Pete. Piano woman, piano man. Piano man. On the rocks, all mixed, boom. Mix that shiz, boom. Piano man, drink. Drink this. Yeah, this is the one. No shit. My dad used to drink this before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, what did he do exactly to provoke a pianist? Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leaped off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that he had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does do that. Aha. Uh -huh. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently all mixes all... Apparently it mixes all the flavors said his said friend liked the most. Ah. My brain could not read that for some reason. Oh, that's nice. This is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like it. The f like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work? Call me Kim. I don't know if I can say, say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. You're right. You're a slave. You don't get paid for what you do. You're not a worker. You're a slave. Congratulations. Can I ask where you work, though? 
The Augmented Eye. Ooh, nice. I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was just here earlier. I knew I smelled into his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate the shove, shove, chauvinistic horse. Blah, 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 blah. That chauvinistic horse blower. Well, you seem like a charming lady. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have, have and that people haven't done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. I'm pretty sure that's illegal, but go on. And would you believe it? The guy became de decent at server maintenance, despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. You ever think about bartending? Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name? Bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? No, we have we have openings right now. I guess it's uh, as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide someone something of quality. All while answering the whimsy, whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothing and dance for something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. <clears throat> Your boss sounds like an interesting person. What with waiting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's cool. Collected. May have beaten up a guy or two, but, you know, that, that, that that's just her. Don't worry about that. But, has, but she has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. She's sure been a bit tense the last couple of days, you know, with the murder and all. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. Well, that sounds kind of kinky, actually. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Hmm. Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using. I do that. It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Um, she's still here. I can get her for you, like, you know, right now. Oh, no, I shouldn't pa pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brad Tini, please. Brad Tini, Brad Tini, Brad Brad Tini. Coming right up. Brad Brad Tini. She wants a brand, sorry, a mar- Age. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Mix. Boom. Brentini. Here. Yep. Seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job, like, a lifelong dream or something? Not really. Just kind of happened. One thing led to another, and BAM! I'm bartender. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? What are you insinuating here? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a model warrior Julian arcade machine. What the fuck? Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really, I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams. Having a room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a metal warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. I remember I wanted to live in the, a koi pond when I was seven. The fish seemed to ha be having a blast to me. 
Sono Dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase. No. And also, you're freaking weird. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess. I'm not going to forget the anytime soon. I mean, how the hell do you throw toilet paper out the window? Oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Jill, I'm going to leave early. I need to take care of it. the small clinging to my body. The smell clinging to my body. Okay, drive safe. Don't get in a car wreck, because those happen, you know. Who is he? A ghost. Nobody you should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Why were you asking all those questions? Oh, sorry, I'm talking to you. Why, do you, why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. Sometimes life's tasks and takes an unexpected turn and that makes you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm going to take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Yeah, sure, sure are, boss. Sure we are, sure, for sure, damn right, Skippy. Do da. Smells like it. Where's Jill, and where's the girl that was here? I don't know. Jill cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up and had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How, how was she? She was freaked out when she woke up but she managed to calm down. You worried about her? Wouldn't you be? Not really, I don't know her. Uh, hey boss, uh, do you feel like calling, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger, just out of habit. Oh. Anyways, you're free to go after you're, you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer the, you today's payment. Maybe I'll give you Jill a, maybe I'll give Jill a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Oh man, I could have had a, I could have flawless service. I did that. I did that. I did the flawless service. Is that what I did? I did flawless service. I did service flawlessly. Hell yeah. Zero, zero mistakes. 30% commissions. $714 of payment. $400 in tips. Flawless service bonus. And here's an extra help for helping the girl calm down. Fuck yeah, rent is paid. I'll have that arcade machine yet. Your membership to Shining, Shining Fingered. Your membership to the Shining Fingered will be automatically renewed on the 17th. Make sure you, your account has at least $800 in it by then. Jill is lost in thought about the a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. What? You can now browse the... Da, 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 da. You can now visit the J.C. Elton's. What? 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 Also, I just realized that that's a picture of my boss on the wall. Kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. Something about a plant. Local woman, hero. Yeah, this is all crap. I should probably be reading this, but I, I'm not gonna. So there's that. Oh, Tokyo flu treatment, nowhere to be, I'm assuming, found? Add app. Add app, add app, add app. Well, we're over an item, and okay, cool. I went to the shop, by the way. Uh, hollow plant. What hollow plant is it talking about? Hollow plant. Only 600. Yeah, I can afford that. You're about to buy a hollow plant. Please, oh, double click it to buy it. Boom. Okay. So, that'll work. There, now she won't start thinking about plants in the middle of the ship. Jill 
bought what she wanted and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Cool, that's great. Is that my hollow plant? Is that my new fucking holographic plant? I love it. Love it so much. I think I'm going to leave today's episode of Valhalla here. It's probably going to be a long one next time because we're going to try to complete all of H2 all in one video. So that one's going to be super long. So stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to make sure you don't miss it. And also turn on the notifications so you don't miss the next episode as well. If you want to join me any other day of the week, there will be a link to the description below for Discord. And if you just want to leave me some hate, you can just you know, put that in the comment section. However, if you're supportive and you want to help support the channel monetarily, there will be links in the description below for coffee for one-time donations and monthly recurring donations via Patreon down in the description below, which will help me to do this full-time. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, feel free to send me some love down below by hitting the like button. And don't forget to check out the annotations for more videos. Now I'll see you in the next video.